Best scene, demon lover. Interior, Antonio's office, Santa Fe State Police. Next day, the latest edition of the Santa Fe New Mexican sits on his desk, but his attention is on his work. Close on, newspaper heading title. La Verona settles in Santa Fe. Detective Steve Quinn, 40, saunters in. Steve's Spanish pronunciation in this and subsequent scenes is very white bread. Hey man, siento mucho. Tu abuela era una buena mujer. Thanks, Steve-O. You want to talk about it? Nope. But it sounds like those Spanish lessons are finally paying off. Dude, I'm learning so much. Even thinking of salsa lessons. <laughs> Settle down, amigo. This is the desert southwest, not Cuba. You'd be better off learning how to dance a good ranchera. What's the difference? I I could be unstoppable with some smooth dance moves to impress the chicas. You need a lot more than dance lessons. I'll take any advice you got. Well, try working on your pronunciation a little more. You can start by rolling your R's. It's ranchera, not ranchera. Steve takes the advice seriously. I've always had a hard time with the R's. I'll work on it. R ranchera. Cerveza. Good luck, man. Steve heads for the door. Oh, I almost forgot. You got a visitor. Don't tell me you didn't notice the paparazzi outside. I came in through the back. Steve turns the newspaper on the desk around and points at the headline. La Lorona is looking for you. You have no idea how funny that sounds. But Steve doesn't seem to understand the humor. She say what she wanted? Said she'd only talk to you. But a nut job like her could be anything. How do you say nut job in Spanish? Take care of it for me, would you? I'm not in the mood. Sure thing. Steve exits. Moments later, Suryosa persistently turns the corner into his office. Steve tries to head her off, but it's no use. He shrugs at Antonio. She's a far cry from the frazzled mess she was in the hospital. Her makeup, nails, hair are flawless. May I help you? I believe we can help each other. Detective, please, sit down. Antonia recognizes the rings on her fingers. He waves Steve away as he offers her a chair, she sits. I saw you yesterday at my grandmother's funeral. Did you know her? Suryosa bows her head respectfully. Siento mucho. My name is Suryosa Anaya. I know who you are. Good. And I'll get right to the point. I'd like to acquire your services to locate someone. You want a private investigator, lady, not me. No, I want you. Which is why I'm willing to make you a deal in exchange for your help. I'm not for private hire. Look, I can't blame you for being skeptical, but I can make it worth your while. Is that so? I know how much you miss your grandmother. I bet you'd love to see her one last time. I beg your pardon? I can make it happen. Haven't you heard? Soy Bruya. Witchcraft. Seriously. I think they let you out of the nut house way too early, lady. She ignores the insult. And lucky for you, I'm a specialist. In what exactly? Necromancy. Antonio wasn't sure what to make of her response. That's right, detective. I can raise the dead. You have some unfinished business with your dearly departed grandmother? Unspoken words? I could arrange it. N enough! I don't know what kind of game you're playing here. I'm not interested. Antonio moves to the door. Seriosa stands up and moves closer to him. Think about it. A chance to take back those things you said and say goodbye? The right way? You don't know a damn thing about me. Or my grandmother. Maybe not. But I do know a thing or two about living with regret. I don't recommend it. Tonya opens the door. Get out of my office. Seriosa resists. She reaches for the pen in the shirt pocket, writes something on the newspaper on his desk. This is where I'm staying. Call me when you change your mind. But don't take too long. The devil is loose in the city of holy faith, and time is short. Someone is going to die tonight. She exits.